Some verbs in English have static meaning. They describe states, conditions, or situations. When they have static meaning, they doesn't come with progressive tenses. As an example, we can say, yum, the food tastes great. Here I describe the food that it tastes great. Hi, I'm Nora. And I'm Raga. And today, we will learn together about the static verbs and the five categories of the static verbs and the verbs which have an active and static meaning. And the static verbs, as how I mentioned before, that they are usually you are, are usually not used in progressive tenses. Usually, not never, because it can sometimes come. Fine. So the static verbs are called state verbs. So we can say static verbs and state verbs, and they describe a state rather than an action. Actually, the static verbs are the opposite. Actually, the static verbs are the opposite of an action verb. Because they describe the state rather than an action. And it express thoughts and opinion, senses, feeling and emotion, positions and verbs are in actions. And we know that most of the static verbs are used only, but not only, rarely, if ever, in the, in the simple tenses like present and past simple, present and past perfect simple, and the future simple. And it's not used with progressive tenses, which are present and past progressive, present and past perfect progressive, and future progressive. And it's a simple rule to remember. It's just used with the, uh, with the simple present, I mean, the simple tenses. As for an example for static verbs, hear, measure, know, have, and like. All right. Well then, if I just like did this, you don't choose to hear the voice or not hear in the voice. You just hear it, so you haven't done any action. So here, there is no action. So this is a state of verb. And the same meaning of the verb lesson. Okay, so lesson here. Okay, lesson. Are you listening to me? So if you want to listen to me, you will listen. And if you don't want to listen, you will turn off this way. And the same rule is the verb see and look and watch. In the verb see, there is a sense, pop. There is a state verb. But in the look and watch, it's an action verb. Verbs have both stative and action meaning. The verbs that have static meaning, like the table, let's take the verb measure for this sentence, okay, in the stative and in the action meaning. In the static meaning, the table measures 60 by 60 centimeter. So there is a state verb. This is the state of the table. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to make it like an action, well, I would say I am measuring the table for the curtains. So that means that I am doing an action and I am measuring the table. See how tall is it? And this is an action verb. So you just put these basics down. Let's learn the static verbs in a context. All right. The first thing we have is the verbs of thoughts and opinion. So, I agree it can be so difficult to understand the difference between, uh, between tenses in English. I believe you. Well, can you find here the state of verbs between the conversation between us? Well, it's agree and understand and believe. Because here, it's just a state of something, it's not an action. Alright, so we can say, she agrees with me, because this is the verb of a thought and an opinion. She, she agrees with me. No, she is agreeing with me. We can say, we believe you. No, no. we are believing you. And examples for verbs of thoughts and opinions, believe, imagine, doubt, suppose, concern, forget, rely and disagree so that is the verb of thoughts and opinions and the second group of the stated verbs is called senses like as logic there are five senses see hear touch taste and
and smell. And actually, we usually don't act using them in the present progressive or in any progressive tense. Notice that the she that she said usually, not never. There is no never in English, so we can say rarely ever. Tasting, seeing, or feeling, they I come. can use them as an act of tasting, seeing, or feeling. Like an example. I am tasting the cake to see if it's good or not. So here I said I am tasting, so I am doing an action. So I am doing an act, I am using the progressive tense. There is an so act of tasting, okay? So this is not a stated verb. But another example, this cake tastes delicious. Okay, so here there is a sense. This is a state, okay? And the third condition here, we have verbs of feelings and emotions. I need to know what Sara likes when she is tagged. Alright, can you find the stated verbs here? Need and likes. So, these are the stated verbs here. And they rarely and they used in the progressive tenses. So, avoid using them in the, pro in the progressive tense. Because it can be said by the native speaker over there, I am liking this pizza. And we will understand how do they say this in the last of the lesson. And here we have some examples for feelings and emotions. Love, prefer, dislike, adore, and surprise. Okay, now let's take the third group of the verbs of positions. Like belong, own, possess, and have. And as an example, I can say this doll belongs to my sister. So this is a stated verb. And notice there is a big note. The verb have belongs to this category when it means positions. Okay? So it belongs to this category. And the fifth one is the verb which is aren't actions. As we can say deserve, promise, owe, seem, and wait. So we don't use it, we don't describe an action like when I use them I rarely say an action. As for and an these verbs don't describe any actions, okay? As for an example, I can say I promise not to be late, so I didn't or, do any action here. Or you deserve another chance, okay? So I didn't do any action. Well, you might be seeing this around that we might say loving seeing and owing it just because it just because it cannot be used in progressive tenses doesn't mean that you can't see them it doesn't mean them that you can't see them in ing form and the ing form can also be used in adjectives and nouns so it doesn't just contain the continuous or the progressive or anything from this fine so then we'll be talking about okay so there is a tip here will simplify this for you you will always be there when there is a continuous okay you will always be there when there is continuous tense you will always be <laughs> there is a continuous tense okay <coughs> so this is a very very simple to understand this this p was always p there when there is a continuous tense okay and when you see a b plus a main verb Thus, ing it will equals continuous or progressive. Fine. So here we have we are playing together. So here the are is a be. Here's it. And playing is a main verb. So this is progressive. Okay. And there's another example that isn't a progressive. I I hear some surprising news. So I hear some surprising. Surprising here is ing but where is the p where is p there is a member plus ing but where is the verb to be so there is an adjective surprise in here is an adjective so this is not a continuous tense but the other example seeing is believing it's much tricky okay it's more tricky okay seeing is believing so seeing is endurance and believing is endurance and there's both are uh, now like an example today is monday so today is a noun and monday is a noun too and we have verbs which have 
an active and a stative meaning. So we must decide the meaning of that verb before we just decide if this is a stative or an action. So if we found a simple tense, then it's a stative verb. And if we found a progressive one, then it's an action. So as how we mentioned before, that have when it comes for a position, I mean like something that you own, it's stative. So as here in an exam, uh, here an example, Mackey has a green pike. So here it's a state. He owns or possess a green pike. But if I say there is a different meaning here for have, host, expect, eat and drink. Like if I say I'm having dinner, so that means that I'm eating dinner. So this is an action here, okay? And we can say I'm having my drink. So we are uh, so we are having a party this weekend. Here it comes having, and it's a progressive tense, so it's an active. So this is an action. And as how we said, the own and possess comes with stative verbs. Sometimes by native speakers, this rule was proc. Okay, so like you can see is dancing okay and he will say I'm loving this song so what does mean he is loving this song he said this in the moment of enjoying he said this he is loving this song it's a temporary case here he said here at the moment of enjoying and we can also there was a person who hates pizza and then he entered the place so he tasted the pizza in that place so he liked the pizza. So he can say here that he doesn't just like, he just likes this pizza, that kind from the store. So he just says, oh, I'm liking this pizza. This is just, this is just like an unexpected thing, which is not really used. Fine. And this is a temporary case. Okay. Okay. So this is the temporary case that will be preoccupied by the native speaker. Okay. Okay, so, so thank you for watching, watching this video. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye.